this motor all wired up and ready to go. As you can see, I've put a new switching mechanism on the side here, and it works okay. So far it needs a little more adjusting, but uh, basically that's it. And uh, I'll just turn it on and we'll take a little look at uh, how it works. RPM we got a little uh, plasma we'll get into the back of the nest there. See the but uh, it's drawing thinner an amp on the one side. And I can let's slow it down. It's not really drawing anything extra as I slow it. I'm really holding it tight. But it's 24 volts drawing at uh, one amp I guess that's each, each battery two battery banks and sometimes I give this a little adjust it might run a little better still uh, testing it out here so. I sped up a little bit but uh, basically, yeah. I haven't hooked up the generator coil, it's just running on the 812. Okay, another small demonstration. As we can see, we've got uh, three batteries here, batteries here wired in series for 36 volts. And uh, here we have a little over 37 volts. The batteries, we've got an amp meter. And. Um, Here's the motor, here's the switching mechanism at the back. We'll turn it on. You can see there's no back EMF collection set up right now. It's showing the uh, sparking going on there. It's got considerable RPM. And it's using uh, almost two amps, an amp and a One point six amps at our voltage, thirty six volts, thirty six point two, one drop, and as you can see, slowing this down is really not quite quite painful. And as I do, yes, the amps do go up, one draw. When I do this. See? Out considerably. So we'll see if we can fix that. Anyway, the timing mechanism. We want a bit of light here. Running pretty good. Get some back EMF uh, capture on this, put a better circuit on, but it runs really good at 6 volts. It's about a 10 amp pulse. And uh, again, just running like this, it's at uh, 1.6 amps. And again, 36 volts. Fluctuating a little bit, it's pulse DC. Alright, test. <laughs> 